So these days you find a lot of healthier versions to your commonly eaten unhealthy or high calorie sinful food. But there's this perception that all these healthier alternatives just taste really bad. So today I'm going to be doing a taste test to see if that's really true. I know a lot of y'all would think like of course I eat two salads a day and I think that everything that tastes like the earth is so delicious and yummy. So I've decided to invite a guest today and she is none other than Muna. So she is one of my personal training clients. I guess she's someone who we probably qualify as someone for more like normal palate uh, because you know she likes like I guess you like like normal, normal oily, normal. unhealthy. She's trying to be nice, fried, <laughs> processed <laughs> palate. <laughs> you know the very first time that I met her, I asked her, "What's your favorite vegetable?" And you know what she told me? <laughs> <laughs> I told her I like broccoli, carrot, fish ball. <laughs> and then was like, "Fish ball's not a vegetable." I'm like, "It is in my world." <laughs> So today, I'm going to let you try a couple of these healthy alternatives that you might not have tried before. And I also know that, you know, the packaging does affect the way that you perceive the food. Some people, when they see, you know, healthy or gluten-free or whatever, they'll immediately go, you know, it's not nice, confirm yeah. tastes really bad. Yeah. So I'm going to be taking the food out of the packaging for us to try. And the other thing is also, I'm not saying that these foods are 100% healthy. I'm just thinking that they are the healthier alternatives to the originals. It's just the lesser of the two evils that we are trying here today. Potato chips. So here are some ruffles. We have the original version and we also have the baked version. I love potato chips. It's like my one go-to snack. Mm. Love chips. Mm. Let's give this a little test. It's a lot thicker. It seems like a, like a biscuit almost. Mm. What? Oh. It's like magic. There's no difference whatsoever. Don't you think so? I think it's even better, to be honest. Taste-wise, it tastes very similar to the original, but texture-wise, it's a lot crunchier and crispier. So I actually prefer this. And I personally like corn chips a lot. So this is kind of like closer to the like texture of a corn chip. Yes, right? yes, that's what it feels like. That's mm. what it reminds me of. Which one would you prefer? The baked one. Mm -hmm. Just because it's like fuller. Mm -hmm and like such an all-rounded snack. Oh, I love it. So the baked chips has 3.5 grams of fat per serving, while the original has 10 grams of fat per serving. But I think to actually say that the baked chips is the healthier version, I still don't really think it's like super healthy because again, you break down the ingredients list and you see things like cornstarch, maltodextrin, citric acid, artificial colours. If I were to choose this, it would be purely because of the taste yeah. and the texture, but not because it is like healthier. <laughs> yeah, I agree. So this is peanut butter. Okay. Are you a peanut butter fan? Yes, I love peanut butter. Love peanut I could butter. eat it on its own. Just from the jar, right? Yes. I know it's a favourite for a lot of people. Mmm. I can't take too much of this, but I always like take it from the jar. I just also feel that the peanut butter has this very like, artificial taste to me. Oh. I don't, know, I don't like it. It's very sticky as well. Mmm. I totally get what you mean eh, when you said that you don't taste the peanut here. You can actually taste the peanut. I feel like I'm just like, I crack the shell and I eat the peanut. Mm -hmm. But in butter form. Mm -hmm. You actually get to taste the peanuts, you know. It's not as sweet as the skippy. Yeah. And you really, really taste like the earthiness of the peanut. In some ways also because it's rougher, like the texture, you yeah. get those chunks of peanuts in the natural peanut butter. You actually like get to enjoy the natural flavours of the peanut. There's not much of a, a huge difference except that this one is a bit more salty and you now that I've tasted the natural one, you can taste like a little bit of the sugar. Mm -hmm. But both are really yummy. Mm -hmm. But in my head, if it's that much similar and there is a better option to go with, then you might as well go with the healthy option. Yeah. Right? If you look at the back of a Skippy's peanut butter jar, it has roasted peanuts, sugar, vegetable oil, as well as salt. Whereas this is just pure peanut. You either want to get a peanut butter that's just 100% peanuts like this one, or there's some other brands on the market that have peanuts and salt. I just think generally, it's good to just watch the sugar levels in your food. And I think that with Skippy's or foods that have added sugars, that's something that you want to be wary about. Because when you read the ingredients list, 
and it says it's added sugar, then you, a lot of the times it's added white sugar. I would much prefer you eat the sugars from things like fruit and things with a lot more like vitamins that are good for you nutritionally rather than white sugar, which in my opinion purely does like nothing for you nutritionally and just for your health. Are there any other nut butters you would recommend? Oh, oh, actually personally, I, so what I, yeah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I get very turned on by these kind of things. So oh, really, okay. I, when someone tells me like, you know, like, oh, this um, Buddha bowl with oh. like falafel and oh. hummus and beetroot dip, and then you know, the lot of and alfalfa sprouts. Then the lot of people they're like, yo, that sounds freaking disgusting. <laughs> to me, I'm like, wow, yes. like yes, yeah, so good. Sprouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that even? I've never heard. Of I'm that. like, oh yes, like alfalfa. Oh, this oh hormone free, gluten free. Oh my god, I'm like. So like like it compels me in, in so many ways. <laughs> I'll just leave you alone, now, okay? Bye bye. Thanks yeah, for today, Tian. <laughs> See you. Back to regular programming. Yeah. She has <laughs> more to say. Can you please? Are there any other nut butters? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> other nut butters that I really recommend is almond butter mm. and cashew butter. They're not as accessible and they are pretty pricey. Mm. But I do really like enjoy the taste of other natural nut butters. Okay, so Mona, I know of all the unhealthy foods that you like, you really, really have a soft spot for instant mee. Yes. Especially Indomie. Yes. So today <laughs> I have decided to make you Indomie <gasps> plus the healthy version <gasps> of the Indomie. What? Miracle noodles. And I've seasoned it with the Indomie seasoning. Oh, that's the name of it. Yeah, wow. have, you, have you heard of Miracle Noodles? No, I haven't. It's a low carb noodle. It's pretty much zero grams of carbs. It's made from a cognac plant and it's pretty much like a ketogenic alternative for all the people who just don't eat carbs. So we're gonna try the unhealthy version of the Indomie first. Mm -hmm. So Which is this one. I know my Indomie. Mm -hmm. oh, God, it smells so good. <laughs> okay, so you let me eat now? Yes. This is like me cheating but in front of Jen. <laughs> you know, okay. sometimes like when I eat fried stuff, then I'm like, Jen will like, spoil me. But it never happens. Really, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love you. You know me. Mm. You don't have to try. If you don't have to try, I'm gonna finish everything, you know. Uh, okay, you can finish everything, but tomorrow we're gonna do like <laughs> okay, 200 yeah, burpees. I don't, I don't. Let's go move on to the miracle noodles. Okay. It's so yummy. I usually decided there's no carbs or low carbs. No carbs. No carbs? No carbs. No carbs? That's yeah. kind of unbelievable because it feels like there's a lot that you're taking in, mm. but actually, it's light. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like I that it mean. tricks me a little bit. It's pretty much just like vermicelli, but yeah. it's a thicker version. Yes. Right? Yeah. It's not that I like one or the other. Like Indomie is still something I would love, but like this is not bad. Like I would still okay. go for this. In general, instant noodles is pretty much empty calories. You know, it's filled with sodium, seasonings and preservatives. It just does nothing for you nutritionally. Yeah. But I would say that if you're, you know, like a carb monster, you really want to find a way to, you know, reduce the calories in your meal, then you should definitely go and check out this cognac noodle because mm -hmm. it could be a great alternative for somebody who likes to eat carbs a lot. Yeah. So a very common substitute to your white rice is cauliflower rice. And this is one of the staples that a lot of people on the ketogenic diet eat because it's super Super low carbs. We're gonna eat a bit of rice together, and of course, okay. it's a very familiar taste. Mm. Even rice on its own is great. We're gonna try the alternative okay. right now, and here's some cauliflower rice. It's actually blended and roasted. Mm. It's different. It's juicy. Mm -hmm. it's is moist. that weird? Yeah, it's moist. Mm -hmm. I honestly don't think it's bad. Uh, I actually think it's tasty. Mm -hmm. It's tastier than rice. Because when yeah. I had that, yeah, yeah, because like there's a bit more flavour. Like with rice, as much as it like has a rice taste on its mm -hmm. own, mm -hmm. this one has like a pop of flavour. So I don't feel like I'm eating something that is substituting rice. I feel like I'm eating a dish on its own. Okay, okay. Yeah. I think what I would do is have quarter rice instead of half and then three-quarter cauliflower. So like, I still have a little bit of rice because, you know, there's still that. <laughs> right? Because rice is life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you know what? That is actually a really great idea that you brought up because cauliflower is a vegetable. And you know, if you're someone who doesn't particularly love eating vegetables, yeah. it's kind of like a disguise, Correct. you know what I mean? So you're kind of mixing your rice with the cauliflower. Yes. So you are getting the rice but not so much. Yes. But you can actually eat in volume because the cauliflower is such low carb. Right. Oh my 
good. One cup of white rice has 206 calories, whereas one cup of cauliflower rice is only 14 calories. Definitely with white rice, you know, there's just way more sugar content than there is in cauliflower rice. So if you are someone who's looking to cut down their carbs or cut their calories, then cauliflower rice is just a really great alternative. Over here, we have normal milk and almond milk. So almond milk is a great substitute for people who are lactose intolerant or lactose sensitive. We're gonna start with the normal milk. Okay. Hmm, milk. <laughs> I'm not crazy for milk, but it's, right. it's good. So now it's time for the almond milk. Okay. So are you excited? You wanna smell it first? Yeah. I'm trying to see if there's a very strong almond smell, but not so much. Is it? Yeah. Hmm. It's very light. Mm -hmm. You can taste a little bit of the almond, but it's it's actually quite a nice tasting, very just subtle, like, hi, I am milk. As, <laughs> whereas the full cream one is very creamy. And I think that's why I just don't drink milk on its own, because just for me, it just feels very, very like, cream. <laughs> I should totally be a food reviewer. I love how she assigns characters. <laughs> she assigns characters to her food. This one goes down very well. Like, you know, like very easy. Like, I can drink and still smile. But then this one, if I drink now, I'll be like, mm. then you have to like, like swallow a bit more, you know? <laughs> I, tell me if my food reviews help you. Then I will do more. <laughs> I personally am a huge fan of almond milk because firstly, I'm lactose sensitive and lactose intolerant. Almond milk also does have a significantly less uh, fats mm -hmm. than regular full cream milk. So I have made the transition to almond milk over the past few years and I do find that I have ha had a lot less breakouts. You know, I just feel less bloated. Mm -hmm. And yeah, because I was lactose sensitive and I didn't know that. And a lot of people actually don't know that they're lactose sensitive until they make that transition and they realise like, hey, actually, you know, the plant-based milks are a lot better for my body. Almond milk is, you know, is something that has a lot of vitamin E naturally, so it's really good for your immunity. One big difference between cow's milk and almond milk is that cow's milk has a lot of calcium. However, calcium is not naturally present in almond milk. Before they sell it, they do fortify it and do add calcium to it. So nutritionally, the calcium is pretty comparable to that of cow's milk. The only thing is that there's significantly less fats. So I think that this is why people consider this to be like the healthier alternative to cow's milk. But I would say though that a big deterrent like deterring factor for a lot of people is that almond milk does cost a lot more than cow's milk. Almost two or three times the price of regular Ooh. cow's milk. So I know you don't normally have your milk just by itself and you always have it with your coffee. So we're gonna start first with our full cream milk. Mm. Mm, coffee. Mm, okay. I still prefer my black coffee. <laughs> this is my personal preference. So now it's the almond milk version. Ooh. It's like a different colour. Oh, it is a different colour. Like right. it's a darker colour, yeah. and it doesn't look as creamy. Mm. Mm. You know why I like it better? Because I can taste a bit more of the coffee. Mm. <laughs> there you go, yeah. yeah. But still giving me that comfort of like drinking coffee with milk. They're not overpowering each other, they're like fusing together into one. <laughs> Whereas this one, like I can taste the coffee, which is what I usually drink, right? But the milk always has this like I'm here enveloping you! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I think the great thing about the almond milk is that it doesn't add that many calories to your coffee. Yeah. Especially if you're someone who generally enjoys drinking your coffee with milk. Mm. Maybe you can carry around your almond milk and go to the uncle and be like, uh, Uncle, can you put this in my coffee? I'm <laughs> gonna try that! <laughs> Kopi almond milk, see? I'm gonna try that! Oh my but, god, but, yes. um, but go song, right? Yes, but go song. Always go song. Yeah. Always go song. This is ice cream, Yay. and we are going to have the salted caramel flavour. Mm. Sorry. It's very sweet. <laughs> it's so sweet. It's so sweet. It's so sweet. I cannot. I cannot. It's also very sweet. <laughs> I prefer the enlightened flavour just because 
I don't like things that are way too creamy. So because mm. the Enlightened does have less uh, fats, yeah. it is less creamy. It is the consistency wise, it's not as smooth as the Hagen does because it is a lot more like icy and frozen. Yeah. But I just it's a personal preference. I just like that a lot more. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. I think like it's also the flavor of it. Salted caramel in itself is already something that sets up to be like hello. <laughs> I am sweet! But it's true, like with the texture and all this one, it's just slightly lighter. So a Hagen Dazs has 243 calories per serving, but for the Enlightened, it has 80 calories per serving. You do have to still watch the amount of sugar that you're ingesting. Levels of added sugar. Of added sugar. Because I think the issue here is that people always assume that because it's like lower calories or lower fats, it's going to be a lot healthier for you. But if you look at the you know ingredients list and you see all the additives that they have, and you also look at the sugar levels, you know, a lot of the times you have all these like seemingly healthy foods like granola, Bars, there's so much more sugar in it than you know. So I think like lower calories and lower fats doesn't necessarily translate to healthy. But I would say that if you were kind of compare the lesser of the two evils, and this is something that you just want to snack on without feeling too guilty, yeah. then I think these are just great alternatives for you. Next up will be peanut butter cups. So are you a fan of this? I love it. Peanut. I love this one. You like it? Yeah. Wait, never oh. come pay with me. <laughs> Oh, okay. Malaya. <laughs> okay, like that. Come pay. Come pay. <laughs> I love this, right? But I can never finish one. I will always eat half because it is very sugary and I like, ah, it's too much. Okay, so now we're going to try the healthy alternatives and here are some peanut butter truffles. They're pretty small but they do feel very dense and heavy. Yeah. Let's try it. Okay. Mm. Mm. The texture is almost like kueh bangkit. Mm -hmm. It's a white kind of kueh. Mm -hmm. It's like powdery and like... It's not as sweet as I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. What chocolate is this? Milk chocolate also. This is dark chocolate actually. Oh. I think that's why it's less sweet. I actually do like this because it's in a small little bite so I could finish it all and yeah. it doesn't have an overpowering sugary taste. Yeah. So it's not like, whoa. The calories in one peanut butter cup is about 105 calories. And the calories of the peanut butter truffle is 74 calories per small ball. But I think the main difference is in the ingredients list. On the Reese peanut butter cup, basically it's a lot of additives and preservatives to this. But if you look at the peanut butter truffles, it has peanut butter, dark chocolate, almond flour, whey protein, dates and coconut oil. All ingredients in which you can pronounce and that you understand, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think the bottom line for me is that when I'm looking out for ingredients list, the shorter the better. Because when you can pronounce the foods, when you know exactly what goes into them, then it just makes you a lot more conscious as a consumer. So we've come to the end of today's episode. Thank you so much, Muna, for coming here. In general, I was very surprised because when I gave you, you know, all these healthy and unhealthy versions, I was thinking like, okay, Muna's gonna definitely go for like, the unhealthy unhealthy, unhealthy version because in the past like when I when I first met you getting you to eat vegetables was so <laughs> difficult it just took a while for us to introduce yeah. things like raw veggies into your diet and right now you know you're eating a salad every single day you've definitely cleaned up your <laughs> diet you still indulge but you do within reason yeah. and I think that that comes hand in hand with also um, having a healthy lifestyle and working out so much because when you work out so hard you know I think you you definitely are a lot more conscious about the foods that you're Yeah, because it kind of motivates you to not like throw all the effort that you've put in away and you do want to work hard for it. And the thing about snacking is like, I'm a big snacker, I'm a big foodie, but uh, what like we were tasting today, the fact that there are alternatives that uh, are a lot better in terms of like percentage of nutrients and things like that, that is like a whole new world for me. And if that's that in the world, then it's good. So it was such a joy having you on this show and I also want to say that we are sitting on two beautiful blue no sweat yoga mats. I have decided to gift one to you to thank you for being on this show today. Okay, don't thank me so much. I'm gonna give it to you as like little homework. So I'm like, oh, oh sorry, Mona, you cannot work out this week. Ah. Okay, can still work out from home, right? So oh. you have a yoga mat available to you to do oh, the workout so... program that I have crafted. Ah. So, I don't know what to feel. I want to cry because it's so generous and sweet of you. But then now that you have a plan, uh, okay. I love it. Thank you. You're all welcome. Time. You're welcome. And I also have a resistance band for you. Yay. For us to work out even more. Yay!
Yeah. Work out all these calories that we just consumed. Yeah. All the Indomie, the ice cream, the potato chips, all tomorrow will be gone. I knew it. I knew. You know, halfway through eating in this episode, I'm just like, hmm, isn't she going to stop me? This is quite a lot that we're eating. I'm just like, eat some more, like, eat some I more. I knew it. <laughs> and if you guys head over to the merchandise store and purchase one of these yoga mats or our resistance bands, you can also get a handwritten note from me as well as a little keychain and stickers from Click Network. You cannot do sweet things to me because I will cry. Oh yeah, she's yeah. crying. She's so really crying. So thank you. You guys are so sweet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't cry. Finish ready la! <laughs> Thanks a lot. This was in the brief ah. Don't cry so you, And you all, they all Love know you. this. They all know that they cannot be nice to me no. because I will cry. No. This is why okay. all my friends are never sweet to me. Because they know. They know that I will just be a mess. Oh, I love her. Eh, go <laughs> That's all for today. Please remember to give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and hit the little bell so you always get a notification every time we post a new video. Or you can download the Click Network app to get early access to our videos before they hit YouTube. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye!